get started. Now that we've tackled batter basics and basics of very flawless baking, I am certain you are prepared for today's class, creative cupcaking. <laughs> are you ready to cupcake? Yeah! Let's do it! Woohoo! It's on! I've got our ingredients, flour, sugar, baking powder, all this fresh strawberry jam. So, let the baking begin! Very creative. Orange is putting mint leaves and chocolate chips in her batter for a mint chip cupcake creation. I'm putting real bits of strawberry in my cupcake to make it extra moist and tasty. How about you, Lemon? I'm replacing some of the oil in mine with applesauce. Adds flavor. Mmm, an apple fragrance. Mmm. Blueberry, how are you being cupcake creative today? I'm adding ground zucchini. Well, I read about it in a cupcaking blog. It's good. It'll taste like nuts and cinnamon. I promise. Hey, what's that? I wonder what's going on. I don't know. Hey, look! What is it? I have no idea. It's just a little something I call the Sparkle Straw Water Pineberry. Wow! I was tinkering with some pollen, you see, and selecting seeds, and oh, I don't want to bore you. Anyway, would you like a taste? Yes! Yes! Goodness. Well, all right then. Everyone step up. Go. Here's a glass. And one for you. Uh, pass this one down, won't you? Uh, carry on. Yes, there's another. Enjoy. Mmm. It's delicious. It tastes like kind of a, I don't know, maybe watermelon, grape, no, oh, uh, strawberry, and yes, pineapple. I've never tasted anything like it. Oh, and it's a scent sensation. I've got to fashion a fragrance after it for my salon. Oh, Princess Berry Kid, uh, please try some. Ahem. This sparkle straw water pine berry is the finest achievement in berry culture I have ever witnessed. To mark this occasion, I hereby declare tomorrow Berrican Bloom Day with a ceremony in his honor. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, why, thank you. It's really hardly necessary. It's the least we can do, Berrican Bloom, after all you do for us. When plants get sick, you always figure out a way to make them better. And where would we be without your berry bitty veggies? It's all part of my job. Oh, well, it's a lovely gesture, I suppose. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I must tend to my bitty orchard. Oh, he's so humble. Which means it'll be all the more fun to surprise him with something really nice on his special day. Ooh. Great idea! What can we do that would be very special? Well, I'll ask Plum to help me decorate the gazebo. And I'll bet Cherry could handle the music. Wow, Raspberry, that's a great idea. Perfect, Raspberry. I love it. But what about the rest of us? We need to do something really special. I know. Let's each make him a cupcake. We can make them with the delicious flavors from all the fruits he grows. Oh, that'll be fun. That's perfect! Great idea, Strawberry! Let's get back to baking! Barrack and Bloom supplies all the Berry Vitty produce from my store, so I want to make him the most special cupcake ever! Hmm, now how to make this cupcake special for Barrack and Bloom? Oh, I know! I'll fill the cupcake with a tablespoon of delicious strawberry jam. Oh, my jam! Where'd it go?
Junction over in Berry Bitty City. We'll have to go over there to start the repair. Better keep the baby barricans here until we get the power back on. Oh, yeah, I do good. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Have no fear. I am here, ready to take charge and fix this problem. Now, everyone, follow me. Come on, Mr. Longstay. The problem is not over there. Is that the juice pipe junction? Oh, oh yes. Uh, I was going to suggest we check there, too. Oh, 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 hi! Oh, oh, hi! A elbow! Me. Ow! Oh, oh, sorry! Uh, so what do we do now? I can't style what I can't see. I think we should head outside and see what the trouble is. The Barricans might need some help fixing the power. Out... Uh, outside? Um, maybe we should just wait in here. What's wrong, Orange? Is something bothering you? Uh, I guess... I guess I'm just a little bit scared. You? But you're always the very last one of us to be scared of anything. Oh, um, really? Well, yes. Remember the time when... You picked the fruit from the super high branch. You were the only one brave enough to swing into the pond. And then, you were the one that tightroped across... Oh, uh, never mind. You're not scared of anything. Well, I'm scared now, and I think we should stay inside. Are you saying you're afraid of the dark? I am absolutely not afraid of the dark. I didn't think you were. I'm afraid of the things that might be out there in the dark. Things? What things? Uh, like the moon and stars? Things like, well, <sighs> galumphalots! <gasps> Wuggy, Wuggy, Wuggy! Wuggy, Wuggy, Wuggy! Wuggy, Wuggy, Wuggy! Okay, guys, stop. She's serious. I'm sorry, Orange. Are you really afraid of galumphalots? From that cute story I was just reading to the baby berrykins the other day? But they aren't afraid of it. Well, I am. <laughs> but Galumphalots aren't real. They're just a silly story. But, but, uh, how do you know Galumphalots are just a story? Because, because, uh, well, uh, Blueberry? Well, it must be just a made-up story because I got it from the fiction section. You know, the make-believe section in my bookstore. But don't people who make up stories sometimes base them on real things? Well, yes, that is true. And it is a very old story. Can't call the author and ask. I told you! See? Maybe galumphalots aren't real, but how do you know for sure? How do you know they couldn't be out there? In the... dark? What's wrong? Why don't they like the dog park? It's almost as if they were afraid of something. Oh, what's in here to be afraid of? I don't think they're afraid. I think they're hungry. I can tell when Cinepup has that give-me-treats look in her eye. I don't know. I wouldn't call it a give-me-treats look. More like a I-don't-want-to-go-in-there look. Trust me, I know exactly how to get them to come in. In the 
very bitty world has gotten into them. Hmm. hmm. I think there's something there they don't like. Something that's, well, scaring them. I think Strawberry's right. And I know what's scaring them. This! My ice sculpture? How can that be scaring them? Look closer. Huh? <laughs> I rest my case. Oh, that's ridiculous. There's nothing scary about my ice sculpture. It's... it's... It's melting. And if we don't figure out what's bothering the dogs, by the time our tea party gets started, your ice sculpture's gonna be slushing around in a bucket. Okay, now, let's not jump to conclusions. No need to jump. The answer is staring us right in the face. Or should I say, in the nose. Nose? Uh... Lemon, what are you talking about? Close your eyes and take a sniff. What do you smell? Freshly mowed lawn. Flowers. Exactly. Boring! A dog lives by his nose. And to a dog's nose, this park is just one big yawn. Fortunately, I have the perfect solution. I'll be right back. What is that? <gasps> My very big super sensational scent dispenser. I've been working on it for weeks. Was gonna have its grand debut in my salon, but now's as good a time as any. It sniffs the air and automatically calculates the right amount of scent that should be sprayed to make everything smell perfectly sensational. Says this place needs a whiff of raspberry and just a smidgen of cherry. Too much raspberry, I think. Hey, still working out the bugs, you know. <laughs> <laughs> 